Yeah, all right. Let's get on over to Darla. You know what, Darla? You're not wearing green. I would pinch you, but <laughs> you made sure there were some green blobs on the yeah. map behind you. She's got right. a trace on. on and, and I do have it in my belt. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, I just, just a little bit. Blend in to oh. the screen. That's yes, all. that makes sense. But we do have a little bit of green on our first alert Doppler radar, but it's not reaching the ground. Um, and I called that yesterday that we might see a few isolated, scattered snow showers across the Sierra. But we do have more headed our way for the weekend. So here's our first alert satellite and radar. Tracker by 6:20 in the morning, we'll start to see some rain showers moving in along the coastal locations. Some of these showers are going to produce some heavy downpours, say just to the southwest of Sacramento. And as the system moves inland, we'll start to see some widespread rain across the valley. At times, it will be heavy, so therefore we are going to see an increase in some of the precipitation in isolated areas. Now, as far as the snow is concerned, by Sunday morning, we'll have maybe two to six. Inches of snow in some spots. Snow levels starting out at around 5,000 to 6,000 feet and lowering slightly to around 4,500 feet at times. So, taking a look at the rain totals, we could see about a tenth to a quarter of an inch possible across the valley and about a third of an inch across the Grass Valley area. So, some of those foothill locations could see about a third of an inch of rain. So, breezy conditions also as that low continues to push its way off to the east. High pressure builds in, so we're going to get some gusts in the valley to 25 miles per hour. This is late Saturday into Sunday, and then in the Delta, 20 mile per hour gusts in for the Sierra, 35 mile per hour wind gusts. But those winds are going to be pretty steady across the area as well, especially for the high country with 15 to 20 mile per hour winds. So we have high pressure building in. That's going to bring sunny and temperatures in the 80s. Yes, these temperatures could be some record breaking highs. So take a look uh, for Sacramento, 83 Tuesday and Wednesday, 84 Thursday. Stockton, 81 on Tuesday. Look at Wednesday, 86 degrees out, 85 on Thursday. So we could very well break some records this upcoming week with that high pressure developing in the area. So here's what we're looking at for tomorrow. See mild conditions across the region, 66 degrees on, uh, for the foothill locations. Bay Area, 64 degrees out, 73 in Fairfield. We will see some cloud cover across the region for your Bay Area temperatures. So, taking a look, we will have that rain on Saturday, and notice how temperatures will dip down to 60 degrees out. Sunday, we welcome the first day of spring, and temperatures start to warm up. We'll see those 80s next week.